After a winter lull in the action, the return of spring in Jezero Crater has brought back swirling thermal updrafts known as dust devils. In Mars exploration, they've mostly been a force for good, but occasionally they do harm. On this episode of Mars Guy. Thanks to the tilt of its rotational axis, Mars experiences seasons like on Earth, but it's just a cosmic coincidence that it's spring in the northern hemisphere of both planets. Although Mars doesn't have April showers, it does have what's referred to as the aphelion season cloud belt. Not exactly poetic, but it does make for some beautiful displays of thin water ice clouds. Perseverance has spent the spring exploring rocks that were most likely deposited in ancient river channels. These include a ridge of cobbles and boulders recently observed by the Ingenuity helicopter from above. Perseverance now has a view of the same rocky ridge. Here's Mars Guy for scale. The varied shapes and textures represent the range of composition, transport history, and erosion of rocks that in some cases probably came from outside of Jezero Crater. This strange rock shows a nice example of a kind of erosion known as exfoliation, which comes from the progressive stripping of an outer weathering rind. It's very similar to the exfoliation of volcanic rocks known as ignimbrites that I've seen in Chile. Such rocks have been suggested to occur both within and outside Jezero Crater. Perseverance arrived at this spot just after noon on Sol 755 and then executed its standard imaging sequence intended to document the site. It was just after 2 p.m. when the navcam got around to the view looking over the gear on the stowed robotic arm. Off in the distance is a towering dust devil, notably thin and well formed maybe the first sighting since last fall. It looks to be just beyond this first ridge and in front of a second one. The morning view with MassCam Z two sols later helps to place its location, which I'll show from orbit using these outcrops as landmarks. They're nice examples of the tilted layers and abundant cobbles found in river point bar deposits, which I mentioned in the previous episode. These outcrops are easy to spot in the orbital view from the high-rise camera, along with the ridges that I pointed out. That puts the dust devil somewhere in this location, at least a kilometer away from Perseverance. The day after Perseverance fortuitously caught this dust devil, another one was observed in nearly the same location at nearly the same time of day in a three-frame navcam dust devil movie. Each frame is about four seconds apart, so the motion is sped up. This one is closer, somewhere between the landmark outcrops, but still at least 700 meters away. Rovers have actually been hit by dust devils in the past, which for solar-powered versions is a good thing. Spirit and Opportunity routinely had their solar panels cleaned off by passing dust devils which extended their mission lifetimes by many years past their originally planned three months. But Perseverance isn't powered by solar panels, so there's no benefit. And some of the dust devils in Jezero Crater have been so fierce that they've dumped record amounts of sand on its deck about a meter off the ground. Two sols before this happened, another dust devil damaged the fragile wires of one of the wind sensors mounted in the two little booms on the mast. Although these events had minimal impact on the mission, they show that dust devils are sometimes the poltergeists of Mars. 